Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, and moving on to the next question. This one's a little bit weird, but I see it come up quite often, so I wanted to make a video for it in case your teacher ends up covering it. So, how can you use the difference of squares to easier multiply each of these products over here? So, you can directly go about it. That is one way. Now, what is a difference of squares? If you remember, that's when we have a plus b times a minus b. And then when you expand all of that, the middle terms, they're going to cancel out and you're going to end up with a squared minus b squared. That's the formula for a difference of squares, right? When you're basically multiplying two things where the binomial is the same except for the sign in the middle, right? And then that simplifies to this over here. So with these kinds of questions, what you want to do is you want to try to take these products. So let me write the first one over here, have some more room. So we'll have 22 times 18 in brackets. What you want to do is you want to try to take this and write it in this kind of format. So then you could simplify it to that, right? As I said, this is pretty weird, but the way you do that is you want to find what the midpoint between these is. So 22 and 18, what you could do is you could add them together, which would be 40 divided by two would give us 20, right? This one's pretty easy to see, 22 and 18, 20 is right in the middle of them. And so what you wanna do is you wanna rewrite this bracket as 20 plus two and then 20 minus two, rewrite this bracket as 20 minus two. This one is 20 plus two and then 20 minus two. So the reason why we got this midpoint is because we're adding and subtracting the same amount to get to these values. And then when we get it to this, notice it's in that format. It's like, let's write the formula below. It's like a plus b, a minus b. Right, where the a is 20, the b is two, the a is 20, the b is two. This and this are the exact same thing. And we know this simplifies to a squared minus b squared. And so what we can do, we know that this here, if we follow this formula, we could take the a values, which are 20, square them, and subtract the b values squared, which is two squared in this case. And then from here, hopefully these values are easier to work with than these values, 20 to the power two, you could tell that that's 400, and then two to the power two is four, so we end up with 396, like that. Right, so again, kind of a weird, uh, weird question, but I see it come up sometimes, so just in case you run into it, wanted to go over it. Basically, you gotta find the midpoint between these two values, put that midpoint here, and then subtract the difference, or uh, add the difference and subtract the difference. The order here doesn't matter because you're just multiplying. Once it's like that, it's in that difference of squares format, and then you could just square the ends, take the difference between them. So 396 ends up being the final answer for this. And then if you have a calculator, you could check this as well. This times that would give you the 396. Right, and it's just the same process every time. So following that same process here, what's the midpoint between 105 and 95? Well, it's 100, but if these were bigger numbers, for example, you could find the midpoint by adding them divided by two. So that'd be 200 divided by two, which would give us 100. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 105, let's do this in full steps, We'll take this first bracket and rewrite as 100 plus five, that midpoint plus the difference, which is five in this case, and then we're gonna have 100 minus five like that. Right, if you get that correct midpoint, then these values should be the same, the addition and then the subtraction. And then from here, this is in this format, the A is 100, right, and then the B is five. So using that formula, we could rewrite this as 100 squared minus five squared. 100 times 100 would give us 10,000 
minus 5 to the power of 2 is 25. So we end up with 9,975 like that. That ends up being the answer. You could check it. You could take this, multiply it. You would end up with that. Okay, so fairly weird. But uh, yeah, if you run into something like this, that's how you do it. Find the midpoint between the two values. So then you could have the same uh, addition and subtraction, the same B value here, right? These values have to be the same. And then that's a difference of squares. And then you get your value.